Hi students, today going to see the mental health nursing subject. In that area, going to see the very very important topic, concept of mental health and mental illness. Now going to see introduction. So what is mental health? What is mental illness? Mental health generally known as normal C. Mental illness generally known as abnormal C. What is normal C? The word normal C derived from norma, that word. The norma means carpenter square or carpenter rule. That means carpenter work, that person use the square or rule like that, norms. Like that, you can have the normal mental person have the standard rules, norms, that person known as mental health. Abnormal C, that is known as away from the norma, away from the normal standards. Now see the mental health. Mental health generally can be defined as like state of balance between individual and his environment or individual and his environment he should have the adjustment that person known as mental health otherwise you go to see the commonly according to who world health organization mental health can be defined as a complete state of physical mental social spiritual and economical well-being with this environment that person known as mental health come to the according to meninger's definition meninger says that the mental health defined as an adjustment adjustment of the human being with uh, to to the world and to others with uh, maximum effectiveness and happiness the main characteristics of meninger is adjustment so those who are adjusting with the environment because why he want adjust means he want happy in the environment. He want happy living in the environment. That adjustment word is very very important according to him. Next going to see the APA American Psychiatric Association 2003 given definition the successful performance of mental health functioning like productivity, maintain the relationship, adapt changes and cope with the adversary effect. These are the person known as mental health. Now going to see the mental illness. Who are the mental illness? That is already I told. It's a general known as abnormal C. According to DSM-4, it is given by American Psychiatric Association. So mental health defined as a psychological, pathological or biological dysfunction of individual. So it leads to that person will be, there may be the one individual suffering the psychotic disorder that person have psychological or biological or pathological syndrome that leads to dysfunction of his uh, normal activity, his freedom, his uh, you know, day, day to day activity leads to the in that uh, uh, stressful situation. Okay, that person known as psychotic disorder. Now next one is very familiar one. I come to from the WHO only. Just now I told mental health. Same definition. The WHO says that complete a yeah, complete state of physical, mental, social, spiritual, or uh, economical well-being disturbed. What is that? Disturbed with this environment known as mental illness. Next one is uh, a very common one. There are three important function of psychiatry. Uh, uh, mental health or psychiatry. One is the cognitive, connection and affection. So cognitive means I have to think, then connection. Connection means I have to act, then I have to feel. That is affection. So in this area, connection, uh, cognition, connection and affection in three area, any disturbance, any disequilibrium between these three known as psychotic disorder. This is given by Niraj Aguja. Next, going to see the uh, concept of mental health mental illness in this area already i told uh, mental health is a normal c mental illness is a abnormal c i am going to my class this class i going to give three important way i going to explain concept of mental health and mental illness number one based on the criteria number two based on the model number three based on the characteristics now see the based on the uh, criteria it is the i going to divide two types the criteria based the two types one is the six indicator by given by maria jagoda another one is the uh, what are the criteria for the normalcy and abnormalcy first one you going to see the 
six criteria given by Maria Jagoda, 1958, she is given. So, in that area, you see the six point. One is the, who is the mental health, optimum mental health means, number one, who is having a positive attitude towards self, that person. Number one, growth, that is one. Number two, growth, development and uh, achieve the self-actualization uh, according to the age, that person is known as mental health, second point. Number three, integration. Integration means mixing. They are response to the environment. That is integration. Number four, a perception towards the reality. Uh, reality perception. Number five, autonomy. Number six, environmental mastery. Now we'll see one by one. The, a positive attitude towards self. That means subjective view. I must know. I am the mental health person. I should know what is my strength, what is my weakness that only i can success my day to day life number 2 that is uh, growth uh, development and uh, achieve the self actualization according to the age this growth and development should be have the correlate growth uh, uh, growth uh, uh, growth as well as development both will go similar according to the task of the uh, growth as well as uh, uh, development both will be mixing otherwise uh, uh, task is uh, coming but growth uh, that development not doing that is my person called is mental illness that is example is mental retardation age is going but person not develop the mental health uh, no, milestone that is called is mental retardation now third one integration integration already i told there is a integration is response to adaptivity to the environment and create own philosophy, these two will be create him to success the normal activities. Success is task, success is uh, any kind of act activities or any kind of function. Next one is going to see the autonomy. The word itself shows that autonomy is independent, self-determination. He will take the own decision for his life. That is called autonomy. Next one is called is perception of reality. Perception of reality, the person think uh, world is real. He, according to the reality, he can act. He give the, no, he accept the uh, no, society. He give the love and take the love. Give the respect, take the respect. This and all comes under uh, perception of reality. He perceive the environment as a original. Okay, not see the abnormal things. Last one is environmental mastery. The individual satisfactory role in the within the group in the community, in the society, in the society should be achieved. So one person will take have the different role. Suppose one student in the college is a student role. Go to home is a uh, father or son. So he go to the any market is a citizen. According to the various area, he should environment. He should be master. He will come to the normal. He will be act according to the role. He become uh, he became normally achieve and he became a mental health. Now we will go into uh, explain uh, second concept that is I told there are three ways I going to explain the my concept one is the based on the criteria in that area I am seeing the six six indicators now going to say what are the criteria for normalcy and abnormalcy mental health and men mental illness in that area I going to divide again two way one is descriptive criteria another one is explanatory criteria Descriptive criteria deals with just telling what is the normalcy, just telling what is the normal mental health. Explanatory criteria, uh, it, it, it explore, it is, uh, it is tell that uh, what is the uh, abnormal behavior deviated from normal behavior. Understand, descriptive just tell what is the normalcy, but uh, descript, uh, explanatory criteria tell that how the mental abnormal behavior away from the normal behavior. So now it's a descriptive criteria based on descriptive. There are two types. One is a statistical way criteria. Another one is non-statistical. The statistical means, you know very well, statistics means it's a numerical. That is a mathematics like. So the, it is a deals with, statistical criteria deals with the normal uh, average. Yes, no. So, anyone, any individual may be he or she may be away from the average, deviate from average, consider as abnormal. Very simple, age, sex, color, skin. Generally, in India, average height is 6 point or 6 feet. 
anyone coming above the 7 feet height, 8 feet height or 3 feet height, you see the abnormal. This, this is a, our mind already fixed is a normal, you know, average. That average above or low, our think as abnormal. Like that behavior also, there is a certain behavior think as it is a normal. Anyone deviated, anyone come, you know, decrease, anyone increase, you can consider as a mental illness. Yes, no, that is called as statistical. Now, going to see the non-statistical criteria. It is uh, deals with the number one ethical. The ethical known as moral criteria. Those who are individual obey the ethical uh, you know, characteristics, moral characteristics, accepting the moral of the community. That person known as mental health. Those who are away from the moral, away from the ethical of the community norms, that person known as mental illness. Next one is going to see the criteria for social conformity. That is now any one person accept the social norms, accept the social rules and regulation, accept the social living things. That person known as mental health. Those who are away from that social norms, the deviating the social norms, that person known as mental disorder. Next one is the criteria for ideal or perfection. So those who are have the individual have the ideal, their perfection in his work, in his duty, that person known as mental health. Those who are not doing the ideal work, unideal or unperfect to the duty, that person known as mental illness. Next one is legal criteria. Those who are obey the laws of the society, those who are you no know, living with the laws of society, that person mental health. Those who are not obey, not you know, against laws, that person known as mental illness. Now going to see, these are the uh, descriptive criteria. Descriptive, there are two. One is the statistical, another one non-statistical. Now going to see the explanatory. Explanatory, may, uh, just you can go to see that there are three things. One is pathological model, next one is psychological model, next one is adaptive model. Pathological model otherwise known as medical model. Any one individual have the problem in nervous system, brain and the you know, nervous system, that person suffer any kind of illness, that person known as mental illness. The any absence of disease in nervous system, that person known as mental health. Next one is the pathological things. Pathological means anyone uh, 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 that is sorry that is known as psychological things. Psychological things is uh, anyone have the psychological point. Suppose you see, I am I am the mental health person. Psychological point means I have the maximum higher functional level. I am doing my work. I am doing my perfect my work day to day activity, solving my problem, maintain the relationship, adoption with the environment. So, this higher mental function I am doing, I am mental health. Those who are unable to maintain higher mental function, that person known as mental illness. That is psychological criteria. Last one is adaptive. Adaptive uh, criteria, any individual should adapt the environment. You see in the definition also. Individual and his environment should be balanced, should be state of the balance. In that condition known as mental health. So, those who are not adapting the social norms or environmental, that person generally known as mental illness. These are the things comes under the, uh, based on the criteria. Now, going to see the, based on the model. Model, based on the model, I going to explain what is the mental health, what is the mental illness. So, here there are seven models I like to discuss. One is the medical model. So, in that medical model, is a, this is an old, medic, old model. So, medical model means says that, Anyone, anyone suffering any disease, that person known as patient or disease work. The no disease, absence of disease known as normal. Same way, the nervous system is a functioning perfect, is a considered as a normalcy. Nervous system functioning affected by disease known as abnormalcy. Next one is going to see the statistical model. So, statistical model means any normal people, you know very well, there is a normal prob probability curve, bell-shaped curve. So, mental health person have two standard deviation higher within the uh, probability curve uh, it's coming. Mental ill people, psychiatric person will have the bell-shaped curve will be disturbed. They may be flat or may be asymmetrical shape. That's why they not properly work. Next is going to see the Udopian model. Udopian model, its meaning is Udopian itself, meaning is optimum. So, those optimum is good. 
those who are uh, optimum functioning of the uh, day to day activity and functioning that person known as mental health those who are not doing the work properly that person known as mental illness next to going to see the subjective model subjective model otherwise known as individual model subjective that is individual so in the subjective model the person have the you know good social and the involving the day to day activity properly that person known as a subjectively mental health those who are have not have psychological well being of individual that person consider as a mental illness next one is social model social model deals with mental health person have the social adjustment social norms so adhere with the social norms so he is maintain social relationship mental health person mental uh, mental ill person unable to maintain good social relationship not follow the social norms next one is going to see the process model process model means according to the model mental health is stat uh, not static static means stand static means stay uh, stagnated so our mental health is flexible changing process uh, one hour to one hour or minutes to minutes hour to hour our mood will change happy you know sad happy sad or standard like that so you come to the normal the, according to the mental health person pro changing the process is a dynamic one but the psychiatric people mental ill person have static mind okay last one is the continuum <coughs> continuum have two polar the two polar two end the one is the normal end that is called mental health another end is a mental illness so uh, our people you and me everyone stand in the between the line so according to the situation according to that you can manage and can stand so mental ill person should be in the normal c polar mental illness in the abnormal c polar next going to see the last one is based on the characteristics of uh, mental health person characteristic of mental illness so characteristic based mental health means so uh, who is the having so, so mental health person has uh, an ability to adjust with the environment take own decision perception reality uh, maintain ipr maintain personal hygiene job satisfaction sense of personal respect personal worth so the person have the good uh, sound uh, sleep and nutrition status okay then person have the you know, mental health person have balanced life he will be enjoys the task and take rest and enjoy the you know recreation so so many things even good marital life job satisfaction okay he will he will uh, take the decision by own okay these are the things that uh, comes under characteristics of mental ill person yes now we will see the characteristics of mental ill person similar same one what are the i told the mental health it is opposite just they in uh, no mal adjust with the environment unable to take the decision properly he need others help for taking decision he unhappy dissatisfaction with the uh, job or with others unable to maintain uh, proper ipr uh, lack of uh, relationship with uh, uh, no others not respect others so so many these are even there are lack, lack of uh, uh, involvement in the task the le less sense of uh, self respect is very less guilty feeling unhappy so emotional Im immaturity in emotion these are other characteristics of abnormal behavior or mental ill person so i hope today you seen there is a concept of mental health there is a, in that area you seen that this is a very important three area i explain based on the criteria in the criteria six points i explain as well as the descriptive and explanatory criteria also i explain next i based on the model also i told what is the mental health what is the mental illness last one i explain what are the characteristics of mental health and mental illness i hope you are understand uh, thank you